How about a quick case of a common carotid artery occlusion? Actually, this is a near occlusion, certainly a functional occlusion. Hope you enjoy. Well, the patient's disease and the side of interest is really the left, but during a carotid study, you really need to consider both sides. So here's a quick look at the right. CCA, right proximal internal carotid artery. Uh, waveform or the upstroke is a little bit diminished. Velocity is uh, a little bit elevated, but basically looks okay. We can see in the image, widely patent, a little bit of disease. Here's a couple of spectrums from the left common carotid artery, proximal to the left and distal to the right, clearly highly abnormal. There's a diffuse, severe plaque throughout this entire vessel. I'll show you a video in a bit. Functionally occluded. A spectrum from the proximal internal carotid artery, diminished velocities with also a delayed systolic upstroke, distal ICA, a velocity a little bit slower than we would like, but basically not really all that bad a waveform considering the common carotid artery. Here's a spectrum from the left external carotid artery. We can see clearly abnormal. Take a close look at this one. Anything else that jumps out at you? And again, a side-by-side -side spectral analysis of the left proximal internal on the left and the external to the right. Take a quick look at those. Certainly a very abnormal external signal. In addition to the waveform, we also want to look at the direction of flow. And if you note in the internal carotid artery on the left, we have flow away from the transducer is red flow away from the transducer is above the baseline. So that's flowing in the proper direction. If we look at the external, we see that's in blue. We have flow towards the transducer is blue and flow towards the transducer in this image is above the baseline. So in order to appreciate this, you really need to do a step-by-step -step interpretation of all those elements. This is a retrograde external carotid artery supplying the internal carotid artery due to the functional occlusion of the common carotid. Here's a video clip. I'll just let this run. We can see severe disease through the mid distal common carotid artery. Coming up to the bulb, I'm going to steer the color box to the left to get a better angle. Internal carotid artery looks pretty widely patent. We're going to rock into the external carotid artery. Now note, not only is it retrograde flow, note the retrograde ECA branch in red flow away from the transducer flowing into the external carotid artery and then retrograde flow towards the transducer being displayed in blue feeding the internal carotid artery. Here's a spectral analysis from several of these vessels. First from the common carotid artery, you can see highly abnormal, not a whole lot of flow through the common. We move into the bulb, and then finally into the internal carotid artery. Here we're more into the mid-distal ICA. And we're going to rock into the external carotid artery.
So we'll take one more look just with color Doppler. We have the internal carotid artery rocking into now the external carotid artery. We see flow towards the transducer or retrograde and then back into the internal carotid artery. Always remember direction of flow towards or away from the transducer. Then you can determine if it's flowing in the proper direction or an abnormal direction. So I hope you enjoyed this short case of common carotid artery occlusion with a patent internal carotid artery being supplied by retrograde flow through the external carotid artery. This is something you don't see very often, but overall has been widely documented. Just be on the lookout. You know what to do, like, subscribe, we appreciate it.